Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, we've got episode 50. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Do. Here we are. We have made it to episode 50 of Work in Progress Wednesday, and there's been some changes here and there since we started the channel, and we are coming up on a full year of the channel here, and um, I decided today we're going big. We are going to do a bunch of customs, so I'm not going to waste any time talking too much. Um, I'm just going to go through everything I have. I might even miss a couple things just going through. But the goal here is to just knock out a crap ton of customs. Um, some stuff here, I figured it would be like too short of an episode to do by itself. Some stuff is just like some fix ups, some swapping. So all these will be completed when we're done. It was just a matter of like, I didn't think they necessarily would need a whole episode. So uh, gonna knock a bunch of stuff off my work in progress shelf here. Let's get to it. So first off the pile here, I have an Elite AJ Styles that I got in a um, in a lot not too long ago. So I like this figure. I like the OC attire. What I'm going to do with him though is take this Elite AJ. So that's a custom jacket on him. I'm going to take these double jointed arms. I'm going to swap those over to this one. So nothing too crazy there. You're gonna swap out those arms. Like I said, there's a bunch of swaps in here, but there are some like full custom. So we've got a Jay Uso. And with him, I'm gonna take this tattoo, uh, throw it on the side there, update him. Next up here, let's see. I'm gonna be making a Val Venus. So I've got one Val Venus in my collection already. So this one is going to be using this body that I, I put together a while back. So I don't know where these caps are from. Um, it's the like, it's essentially like a Michael Hayes figure with a different crotch piece painted black here, but Daniel Bryan arms, he's going to have this Jack's classic superstars head and these um, pink boots on here, I kind of like. So what I'm going to do is take this body and then I'm gonna take these Ric Flair Ultimate Boots, gonna paint the soles of these black, paint the shoelaces black, pop those on here, give myself a Val Venus, and then I, these are the decals that are gonna be going on there. Next up, I have a Big Daddy V that I worked on a long time ago, and I just never got around to finishing it. So, I've got Big Daddy V here. All I've gotta do is slap the tattoos on the torso. There's a lot of tattoos, so, um, gonna take you know take a little bit of time there but um again uh, looking I mean, i'm looking forward to all of these so i'll probably say that a few more times but a lot of these have just been sitting on my shelf and i haven't gotten around to finishing them so we are gonna knock out as much as we can today so big daddy v he needs his decals next up let's see so i've got this elite bobby rude here we've got this elite dolph ziggler and then I've got the new basic Bobby Roode. So I'm going to swap this torso from here onto this body. I'm going to acetone off all the designs on these tights. And then I'm going to give him the boots from this body. I think the calves are the same. It's not, I mean, I can swap the calves too, but then I'm going to put this basic head scan onto the Dolph body, like after I swap the torsos. And then I have some, so I, ha I guess I haven't printed them off yet. I forgot to print them off. I have some decals to make um, a Dirty Dogs custom of Bobby Roode to match the new SummerSlam Dolph Ziggler we've got. So that's one I'm, I'm really excited for that. I don't even know if we've, if we're ever going to get that Bobby Roode. So um, looking forward. That's one I was, I'm most excited for probably. 
just to have that matching one. That Dolph Ziggler is amazing. Um, here we've got Ric Flair, and I got this in a lot, so there's no knee pads or anything on him. Things have been swapped around, but um, I already grabbed one of the Ultimate Edition heads, threw it on here, and then I have some spare red Ric Flair boots, so I'm going to throw these on. I don't have the Retro Fest figure, so um, I think this is was the Retro Fest figure and just had some parts swapped off. So we're going to do that here with Ric Flair, nice and easy. Got to find some red knee pads for him as well. Moving on still, we have a Triple H here. And with this Triple H, you can see he's got the blue boots already. And then we are going to paint the trunks blue, slap on these blue decals from his match against Kevin Nash. Um, what... It was a Hell in a Cell match these two fought. So going to make that blue one. We've already gotten the purple. We've gotten the red tights. Um, so I'm going to make the uh, blue Triple H. Here we've got the defining, or not defining, ultimate edition Goldberg. And I don't like his chicken legs. So I'm going to take these Cesaro legs. I'm going to just swap those, put Goldberg's lower legs onto those, uh, beef him up a little bit. Then continuing, we have the Macho Man. So this is the Defining Moments Macho Man, and I ordered him recently off eBay after we got the um, news that they were canceling. And then with the news that we were getting the WrestleMania 10 pack with this Shawn Michaels, I figured, what the heck, I'll just make my own Ultimate Edition Macho. So I do need to just throw him in some hot water. These hips are very tight, and it's an old figure, so... You know, like you don't want to move it around too much, but going to swap the torso with that Macho Man, grab a couple of his newer head scans that have the true effects on them, and then um, um, this is just going to go back to whoops, back to being an elite or, I don't know, something, because I pre-ordered that Shawn Michaels 2-pack, and then these arms are what I'm going to use. I'm going to just take these. I'm going to paint the wrist tape white, and then when we're done here, we're going to have that Ultimate Edition Macho Man. winding down here so i've got this ken shamrock head and it's a nice custom head scan but no matter how much i modded it and uh dremeled it it would not fit on this body it's just too like the neck like it kind of like it'll go on there but it sits kind of high and just like it doesn't go all the way down so i figured we'll change it up a little bit and i will make this Ken Shamrock, whoopsie, so we'll just give him the torso swap, and I don't mind having a super jacked Ken Shamrock, I think that works pretty well for him, but um, I'm going to keep these arms, just this torso, so torso swapping here, and then obviously we're going to finish up painting the head scan. Next up is this John Cena, so I got this John Cena recently as well, and you can see here, just the head scan's real messy. Um, there's a lot that, like, I don't know if this is someone who had this before painted it or, like, colored on it with marker, but it's real messy, so I'm just going to clean this up. Um, I might give him some double-jointed arms. Um, you can see I've got a couple Cenos going on back here. So this one's going to get fixed up. This one, I'm going to take these arms, put it onto here, and then these wristbands, I'm going to paint black. And also, well, just I'm going to keep these wristbands on this Cena. And then this Cena is going to be based off when he wore that Celtics jersey. So I just need to paint a wrist tape on him. So it's going to, it's like a, um, a black, like it's three stripes. There was a black, white, and red. So all I'm going to do with him is paint on that wrist tape. So like that's what I was talking about, like, Maybe not all these guys need their own episode of Work in Progress Wednesday, and that's an example. I don't need to do a one episode of Cena just to give him some wrist tape. Next up is JBL. So I do not like the JBL body that they use. I'm going to be swapping some stuff around here. Come on. So what I'm going to be doing with JBL here is really just um, swapping the legs. So I'm going to take the legs from this Elite, swap them onto this one, and then 
gonna paint this wrist tape. This head, I don't know if I've made it removable yet, if I like if I need to. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to pop that off. I'm gonna dermal it out so it's removable, and then we're just gonna give him this bigger torso. Um, and then there's no, like I'll have to get this red design off. Um, and then I think I'll just print off a decal. I have the like JBL decal in the library from 3XR, so gonna still kind of keep that same black look, that black and gold, but gonna give him the uh, upgraded body here. Then here we are going to make another torso swap. So we've got Mr. America, and then we've also got this Hulk Hogan figure, no relation at all. So he's got the skinny torso that they like to use on Hulk Hogan figures, and this one is a custom of mine, a WCW custom that I made a long while back, but it has the all or defining no god come on it has the ultimate edition torso so gonna take this ultimate edition torso put it on to the mr america so that my uh mr america figure fits in with the hulk hogan figures that i have in my collection and we're almost done almost there so this one is going to be a booker t from the like 2004 to or maybe not even like 2002, 2003 period. So he had just the black tights and we've got the Booker T logo. So what I'm going to do here is um, just take these legs. I'm gonna heat them up. I'm gonna pop them off. I'm gonna put them on this and then we're gonna take the design off of the Lashley um, tights. And then um, with the boots, so if you've seen my work in progress Wednesday I did with my um, WCW Booker T. I took some sculpting clay and made some like um, some straps over the laces. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna paint these all black. These are some Sami Zayn boots. Gonna paint them so they're all black and then we're just gonna make the straps across. And it's not gonna be as prominent. When I did it with the WCW one, it was the red boots with black straps. Obviously this is gonna just be black on black. So not going to be as prominent but it's going to be way more accurate for booker t so that's what we're going to do here and then last one we have is going to be a custom dx mike tyson and i've had this head scan for a bit i didn't know what i was going to do with it though so i had originally planned to make a boxing version of him and i couldn't find the pieces i know i have a mr t boxing torso and legs somewhere i can't find it anywhere i've looked through all of my stuff so what we're gonna do is just make the dx mike tyson to go along with the rest of dx the wrestlemania 14 match so i've just got to paint his head up the formula was super super easy um i did have to go with a smaller torso underneath i did like an xavier woods torso but then i gave him some biggie arms just so he had a little bit more size to him and then we just had a dx shirt from one of the xbox figures the shield legs and then um this head scan is from head gimmick so i've got to paint up the head but i think that makes like 15 or 16 total customs so no more time to waste here we go all right so starting off i'm just gonna get all the bodies ready to go and some of the stuff is just swaps anyway so I'm gonna use some hot water here since i have a lot of things and heat everything up so first i'm going to swap around all this stuff to get the goldberg like goldberg should be the easiest um but I'm just going to swap the thighs here, swap the lower legs, and, um, well, see, what I was hoping is that it would fit. I did have to move some things around because the calves that I was going to use, the lower legs and the upper legs, weren't quite working. So I had to take the pieces, I had to take the knees from the Cesaro legs put into the Goldberg calves, and it put a little wrench in the plan not a huge deal everything else we're just going to keep swapping around here got to get the booker t rick flair bobby Roode, all that and now i can get to some of the other torso swaps so with randy rant macho man here i'm going to just pop that off crack these torsos the ultimate torsos if you just crack the bottom you can pop them off so real easy um jbl here i did have to dremel out the head a little bit to get that to fit a little bit lower 
I'm gonna do the same thing with this Val Venus here before I get back to him. The AJ is real simple, so we're just gonna swap these, um, the top part of these torsos to switch the arms. And then get everything back together. Bobby Rude, still gotta swap, so that torso is gonna come completely off. I'll use that somewhere further down the road. This is the uh, Sean torso, so I'm gonna use some, uh, I started using nail polish to get it off, and it was not coming off at all, so I'm just gonna go over with the goof off, wipe it off as I go with water, that kinda will help it if you wipe it off right away, um, and then I'm going to use the nail polish, so. Um, this also, this crotch piece was such a huge pain. I don't know um, if it's just an older one and they are sealed a little bit differently, but it took a lot of, work with this um, acetone to get all of this silver off and there wasn't even that much of it. it just I don't know I don't know what it was it just took a bit so I ended up going in with my Dremel to uh, sand off some of those parts and then um, I used like the polishing piece for my Dremel to smooth it out a little bit and then I came through again with the nail polish wiped it off made it look nice and clean John Cena here just more torso swapping so um, I'm gonna swap everything around these arms around I'm gonna paint the wristbands eventually um, just gonna set those on the desk and then I'll get to them but swapping the torso and the arms was the important part of that. the Ric Flair I couldn't find the knee pads I wanted the open ones I'm gonna have to get another pair of those so I just had some old Daniel Bryan ones that I'm going to use and then uh, I acetoned all those off got those clean then I'm gonna do the same thing for these so I did that for that Booker T crotch piece doing it for the JBL right here um, and then again, like I'm still just kind of getting all the bodies together to really do the decals and everything. We've got Mike Tyson here painting his head up. I'm just going to periodically do some layers on his head before or like as I get to everything else. So um, the Booker T, that one, we're going to paint all of this. going to get the sculpting clay out at uh, the end here, put those laces on, but just... I've got a lot of stuff here, so I'm just gonna go like every now and then, put a new layer on, grab something else, put a new layer on, and just keep going. Cause that's how I used to just do it. I just get a big batch, and then I just kind of work on everything once. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here today. We're just taking whatever's dry, putting a layer on, grabbing something new, and we just keep going, kind of like an assembly line of all these customs. We've got the Val Venus here, painting the black on the shoelaces and on the boots. Triple H, this blue is going to take a few layers, so and that's why I put the white on in the first place. Booker T, got to get some more black on. Not a huge deal. Same thing with Triple H, got to get these laces black. I'm going to paint the bottom of those black eventually. Do some more work on Mike Tyson's head. And we'll get to the end. I'll, I'll try and get a little bit closer when I do like the actual details, but just painting the black hair on is pretty, pretty basic. We're finally ready for some decals, so I printed off these JBL decals myself, as well as the Bobby Roode ones from 3XR Studios Library. Um, very small, but they're they make it. I mean, they make a huge difference. That really what is what brings stuff together. So we got the Val Venus here. I'm getting everything cut out. Got the tattoo for Jay, uh, the Booker T decals, Triple H decals. All of these are from Curb Stomp City, except for like I said, the JBL, and then those Bobby Roode or Dirty Dog decals are from 3XR Studios, and I just printed those myself. JBL, um, this, I mean, this decal is very easy. Just had to, just had to make sure I placed it the right way. Um, the Val Venus decal, I, like, I don't know, I was, like, kind of used to seeing in just that plain black. I feel like the, the decal for this really, really made that pop. I was, uh, really excited, like, once that got placed. This J is going to have to make a comeback soon for the, uh, uh, what am I, his back decal. going to order that soon here. Yeah, Bobby Roode's really easy. Hard to mess those up. Got to make sure they're nice and smooth. And then the sculpting clay. I have, this is new sculpting clay. I had a different brand before, so this stuff is kind of new, and it's a little more sticky. Um, so, I don't know, it's a little bit different. Same idea. I'm um, gonna just, you gotta roll it up. So you gotta like mix it up. So, uh, what I did was just like try to cut the uh, a bunch of these slices evenly to make the straps. And um, it 
it didn't go as well as the first time I did it. I kind of forgot one of the steps in my process and then did realize it was too late when I realized it. But you'll see at the end, we, we, we salvaged it, not the end of the world. So look at all the sli slices, all the straps on there. And then they're all black, so that's not a huge deal. And then time for Booker T's decals. Nothing too crazy again, just got that front and back one. Make sure they're nice and smooth. Then I'll cover the edges with black, make it look good. And then seeing as I'm not gonna paint over these logos, because these might be the same logos that are supposed to be on there. Um, and if not, uh, I mean, not a huge deal, but I'm gonna paint the black and I already really like how that's coming along. And then Big Daddy V, one that I've avoided for a while, but gonna get all these decals on here. Um, it's kind of hard to look up references for him. Uh, and you'll see partway through here, I decided to change heads because this is the head that came with this Jax figure. I had on for him for a bit and I ended up making a change. But the tattoos, um, I love doing tattoos. The clear ones, the clear decals just go on so well and so smooth. And as long as you are getting your softener on them, you're placing them, not like bunching them up or smudging them. These always come out super clean. So I, I have a lot of fun placing tattoos. I'm gonna probably do like a Malachi Black soon. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll see. Anyway, Big Daddy V, got a lot of tattoos here. Um, did have to look up a few different pictures just to see exactly how they were placed. But um, here's the uh, sneak of that viscera head I was talking about. Gotta get that, uh, gotta get the mohawk off, just drummed it off, repainted the head so it matched the body. Um, which it really wasn't too bad. I could have probably gone with it straight, but um, I think that Jack's, they're both Jack's heads, those viscera heads, but I think that one has the likeness way better. Booker T is real easy. Um, I mean, the difficult thing with him was just getting those straps on, but his decals, real, real easy to get on there. Cena, we're just doing these wristbands, so gonna do a few layers of the white, and then I'll come back with the black and the red to do, to, um, finish the other layers, finish the stripes on those. So Mike Tyson here, trying to get that um, white on the teeth. And I do have some new tooth, <laughs> new paint brushes, not toothbrushes. So trying to get in there as best as I can. Um, if I do mess up, I just come back at the skin tone and we'll kind of outline those eyes a little bit more. So not the end of the world, but um, you know, you do want to get those pupils like right nice and in the middle, so. This viscera head, I've drummed it off and it's all smoothed out. So now I'm just kind of kind of give him that fade for his hairs. Nothing too crazy. I've not quite mastered painting fades, but not a huge deal. And then we've just got Cena here. Got to put the black on the end, and then the bottom of those are going to be um, red. It's real simple. And then again, Ken Shamrock had to update him. I'm going to paint his hair. This one's just sitting around for pitch. Gotta get the hair, gotta get the eyes. Um, I might paint like a five o'clock shadow on him eventually, but not now, we'll get to it. Just gotta finish a few details on his head. Here we go, time to get into it, time to see everything that we did on today's work in progress Wednesday. So here is, first off, we've got our Ultimate Edition Macho Man and it came out perfect. I'm really happy. Um, I forgot that I had already done an Ultimate Fix Up of a different Macho Man. So I just took those arms for now because they were already the exact arms I needed. And then I did take one of the True Effects heads. These heads look fantastic. I love the beard, I love the expression. So, Macho Man was pretty simple. The um, legs don't move great. They're pretty pretty tough. They're on ratchet joints, so they like kind of snap. Yeah, you can hear. I'm not even gonna try that one. So, I hope we do get that new Macho Man down the line. Um, a great figure. I'm happy with the custom, but um, those old ratchet joints are, are antiques at this point. Next up, Ric Flair. Obviously, this was a simple one, but 
still really happy with how it looks. I love that red lug and I didn't have that before. So got this, um, this head scan with the long hair. I don't know if I have any other rigs with the shorter hair, but for now it'll, it'll, it'll definitely do. I've got everything just piled up here. So I'll just keep grabbing it. Here's the AJ Styles, the double jointed arms. I did not give him the hairy torso because it wasn't cracked as well. So I just stuck with this one. Another simple one, double jointed arms, that OC attire. I'll probably end up fixing it up once we get the, uh, um, the new AJ in that red with the new Sin Cara torso. Like that one a lot. Then here we have Ken Shamrock, and I had considered painting the attire, but I just went with the head paint um, and the torso swap. Get a little closer in here. The eyes look like buggy from here. Then you look away, they look like beady. He has dark brown eyes, and that's why I went. I mean, that's why they look the way they do, which doesn't always translate with the figures. I feel like it looks a little cartoony sometimes. I think this is from Head Gimmicks. So his head skins are a little more um, like, not like the features are a little more pronounced and a little more cartoonish. So I, I can see that in the head scan, but I think it, I, I like it. I like that it changes things up for my collection a little bit. What I'll probably end up doing is taking either this one or the, the other green one in my collection and then just giving it the black attire somewhere down the road, but don't have those decals and not gonna worry about it today. Really just wanted to get that torso swap. Next up, John Cena is, this is the one where I just painted the wrist tape. I didn't get this on camera very well, but it was a, it was a very simple thing and that's why he was part of this episode, but just took another one of those John Cena heads that we've gotten. This might actually be the head we got on the top picks. I don't remember, but he just had some plain wrist tape or they might have been sweatbands, but just some striped ones. They did have, I couldn't tell. It might've been like an Adidas logo on them. Um, I didn't, like I didn't try to paint it. I didn't have good reference pictures of it, but it looked like it. So again, maybe maybe down the road, we do another another episode with just a little fix up of him, but. I do want to grab this other Cena from the bottom of the pile here. I love how this one came out. I think the updates with it look really good. Here he is with his shirt on, painted the wristbands. Um, I did use acetone to get some of the red off the legs, but the legs are um, painted tan. So if I use too much, which I don't know if there's a spot. So like down by the ankle there, you can kind of see um, it's dot. It's cast in black underneath so i had to be careful with that um i did get most of the red off though and then i gave him the ripped torso that we typically get from cena and overall i think it looks awesome i love the whatever he's not saying no love the updates there especially with the real wristbands on him with the plastic mold or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Oh, who do we got next? Next up here, we'll grab our Mr. America. I think it looks fantastic. Again, this one is just the torso swap, but it came out well. I think it looks really good. We've got, I don't know. We've got so many Hogan figures with different torsos and skin tones that eventually I'll probably just torso swap, move things around, streamline everything so that these match a little bit better. I don't mind the difference between the Ultimates and the Elites, but the Elites vary so much now that we might just... Hogan's going to have his own episode one day. Um, this might be the sleeper of the group. I was really pumped with how this came out. This Goldberg, I love the larger legs. I think that makes this figure look so much better than the skinny legs that they gave him. Um, like... Goldberg, I feel like in WCW, if you look at him, he had gigantic thighs, like skinny calves, and then his upper body was real built, but I feel like his purport, like proportionally, his legs were larger. Um, I don't know. I like, I still don't think that they captured Goldberg perfectly, but I'm really happy with um, that fix up there. And I also like that old Goldberg head. 
I think that's one of the better ones we've gotten instead of just getting old Berg over and over and over. Here we go. Up next, we've got my JBL. Again, really happy with that. Um, before I had gotten that red off the tights, it just proportionally didn't quite look right to me. I had to do quite a bit to the head to get it to fit on there. Um, the peg hole was way too small. So you can see a lot of dremeling in there, but all for a good cause. I like this JBL head scan way more than some of the Mattel ones we got. The, the newest one we've gotten is, is decent. Um, the old one we got, I hate it. And I think this Jax captures his hair color better. He's got the JBL on the back. I'd considered doing some of the other attires he's worn. He had worn like the uh, red or the blue, but um, I realized that after like taking apart the other one, I wasn't going to have the classic, I guess, JBL. So went with that one. Next up is Jay Uso, who, in the midst of me making this video, decided to debut a massive back tattoo at SummerSlam. So we've got that side tattoo down, which I think turned out really well. Was really happy with that. But obviously now we don't have anything on the back. So I'm going to have to make another pass with him, get that back tattoo whenever Curb Stomp gets it up on his website. Um, till then, Jay is looking good over there. Next up, we've got Val Venus, and this one, the, the boots kind of gave me some trouble. Had to completely get rid of the white on those because the molding for the boots doesn't have every single lace all the way through. So sometimes it's just painted on there, and it looks fine when you get it from, the, like, the official release. But going back and painting that sometimes it just messes up. So had to get all that off there, and it still it wasn't perfect, but overall happy with it um got the v on the back and the front which i don't know if it's entirely accurate but i'm really happy with it kind of a mix of his attitude era and like early ruthless aggression or or late attitude era looks i guess but i like having the pink there um here he is i do have my other val Venus custom right here and it's a little bit different um this one is just painted and i do have the um tall black boots on him but height wise they're they're right there with each other so uh happy with val whoa avoided catastrophe there next we have mike tyson and on camera the i think the lighting is making his head look very dark it's kind of hard to see the features but um, in person, I, I love it. It looks fantastic. Again, this is from Head Gimmick, so you can kind of see, like, like the features are more cartoony. I feel like you can't see the teeth very well on camera, but I am stoked with how this Tyson came out. Um, he is always a guy that I wonder, like, he's always someone I think could be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Obviously, this year we got Muhammad Ali, and it wouldn't shock me if we got a Tyson. I don't know how... I mean, I guess they could just do, like, the DX Tyson. I don't know about ring gear, though, because they kind of played off the Muhammad Ali. It's just from that Antonio Inoki match. So I don't know if we could get an ultimate with Tyson, but still a figure nonetheless would be really cool. Um, but for now, this, this one definitely works for me. Next up, we have my Bobby Roode. And that one was pretty simple. I do want to put the uh, Dolph there so you can see them together and... These attires aren't quite matching, but they're both pink, so works for me. Um, the Bobby really was just getting about getting the right parts, and I think these two look fantastic together. This Dolph is one of my favorite figures that I've picked up recently. I think it's really, really good. So having Bobby Roode to go with him, and I really like that head scan. You can see the dirty dogs on the back there. Um, just two fantastic head scans two fantastic figures in my opinion we are about done with things here and these three might be my favorites from the batch first off we've got big daddy v and this is one that i've put off for a long time i am happy i finally got got it done um i had started a work in progress wednesday video 
a long time ago. It was probably one of like my third or fourth videos I'd gotten to and I got started and I don't even know. I just, it just kind of fell to the wayside and never got around to it. But um, I did mid working on it find I forgot I had this viscera scan and I, th I shaved the mohawk down. It was from a Jax viscera and I used the, um, I, I still have that Big Daddy V skin. I don't think it's very accurate to his likeness, though. I think this one is perfect. So ended up using that one. I repainted it. Get in here. See the torso or torso, the tattoos in there. His back tattoo and the tattoos, his um, in real life, like maybe a little bit larger. He was more top heavy than he was bottom heavy like this yokozuna figure so proportionally it's a little bit off but at the same time i don't know what else i like um i i don't know where else i would have gone with those pieces so um it, i think there is a chance i think there's a chance we get this in an official release we've gotten um we've gotten a what maybe just two versions we've gotten the mabel King Mabel and we've gotten Viscera so who knows we might get a Big Daddy V um, I doubt we get the world's largest love machine but you never know you never can say never with Mattel so keep my fingers crossed there but Big Daddy V I was really really happy with how that turned out next up um, the blue Triple H and this one again I think I think it looks awesome it's a very simple one just had to paint it had to take those Ric Flair boots painted the bottom um, and then put the decals on the back and front. But one that I, I have wanted and oh man, one I've wanted for a long time. And, um, you know, I just didn't think he deserved his own episode. So I was finally able to get it done here. And I was really happy about that. And then I think this is the last one, unless I misplaced one while I was um, working on them getting back here. But we have my Booker T and... I think this is the Booker T we should have gotten in the Ruthless Aggression line. We got the NWO one, which was fine. It was a Booker T, but I don't know if a lot of people were like dying to fill out the NWO from 2002. So we've got Booker T in an attire he wore many, many times during that time period. Got the Booker T on the back. We've got both on the side. And then I sculpted the straps on the front of them which did give me some trouble i've got some new sculpting clay and it was a long time since i had done those last ones and um it started out a little rough but we figured it out and then finished it up here and i was i was pumped i was really happy with how uh things finished up but that is going to wrap things up for episode 50 of work in progress wednesday so if you are one of the people that has been watching since episode one I cannot say how much I appreciate you. I can't believe that I've made it to 50 episodes. I think that's pretty cool in and of itself. Um, if you weren't here since day one and you've joined at some point along the ride, I also appreciate you very, very much. Please continue to like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate everything you guys do. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure Dude out.